I feel like I have missed out on something so important, the most important thing in the world. Especially with all the TikToks I've seen lately of people being absolutely scarred by Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. And yet here I am, blissfully unaware, no idea what on earth it even is. My conspiracy theory is now that this is actually Tim Burton's YouTube channel. I'm a little bit unnerved already. There's 12 videos. A bunch of subscribers and just simple sentence in the description. I'm okay, cool. No worries. I've spent so much time over the last few weeks being scarred for you guys. So let me just say a little prayer and put on my headset. Before we start, I thought I'd let you know that I have a Patreon. You can get all kinds of cool perks there, including an uncut reaction once per week. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, the link will be in the description below. Before loading up this video, I actually didn't know how old this was. So seeing 2011, I tell you, that was a shock to me. Are y'all ready? Cause I'm not. It was so quiet on a hitting play that no joke, I heard my heart beat in my headphones. <laughs> I'm so on edge. This is, I shouldn't be like this when filming. Oh, what a wonderful thing. Oh, you got such a great job. You're filming YouTube videos. It must be amazing to do that for a living. Sure. Cool, nice, love it. Thank you for showing me those. Oh, it's do something, say something, have some sort of sound, don't just, Take a clock at me. Oh, okay, cool. Love this. What's your favorite idea? Wait, music? Oh, okay. I can live with this. That's fine. Why are you laughing, Andrew? <laughs> Why is Andrew laughing? I had it in my brain that it was gonna be like, I don't know, creepy semi-horror claymation. But there's music. It's nice. How bad can it be? How do you get the idea? I just tried to think creatively. Now when you look at this orange, tell me please, what do you see? I'm starting to not enjoy this. Just cause I can see the vibe it's gonna go for. It's gonna use that like demonstrative kids show format to deliver me some really weird, uncomfortable things, isn't it? Just a boring old orange. Maybe to you, but not to me. I see a silly face Whoa. walking along. Yeah, hit me with that. Boppy beat, amazing. I use my hair to express myself. That sounds really I use my hair to express myself. This notepad though. I don't know if it's meant to, but it is coming across vaguely threatening. Like it's gonna harm someone. I don't know, you take away the music, that gets a lot more sinister. I use my hair to express myself. That sounds really boring. I use my hair to express myself. It's fine now, but it's gonna get worse, isn't it? I will say though, I'm glad they didn't put a nose on the notepad. I feel like that would have been exceedingly weird. Don't you find it exciting? No. <laughs> Come on, take another look. Oh, wait. I can see a hat. I mean, it's not so bad so far. It's just got a strange vibe. I might paint a picture of a clown. Whoa, well, there, friend. You might need to slow down. Okay. Yeah, nice. Don't linger on it. Oh, don't stay there for so long. How to be a creative whiz kid. Go and collect some leaves and sticks and arrange them into your favorite color. When I tell you, that uh, was the most confusing sentence of my life. <laughs> I didn't even think about spelling it out. It was just like, yeah, get some sticks, arrange them into your favorite color. How do I, how do I make sticks blue? Green is not a creative color. <laughs> oh my God, roasted. The music's making me feel uncomfortable. What? Uh... What the hell? What the? F I am viscerally un. What the f man? To never be creative again. Why? Oh no, not the clarinet. Uh, what the hell, man? You know, more horrifying than the actual content is that not just one person, but a group of people sat down and thought, you know what we should do? Make that. That's a great idea. Let's do that. Why not? Also, why present it like that? And then they were 
like cutting like a blood cake. It's fascinating doing a video like this, having no idea what I was expecting and somehow still coming out worse for wear. I don't even know what to say. I'm imagining it's gonna get worse. And you all suggested this to me. So thank you for that. There are going to be no resentment issues from me towards you at all. Don't even, don't stress torturing myself for y'all and you're being like, ha <laughs> watch this, it'll be so good. All right, moving on, second one, let's go. I'm gonna be so resilient this time, you will not break my mental fortitude. I am, the walls are up, I know what I'm in for. It's gonna be a great ride with no issues, don't even fight me. It's the same day, it's the 19th of June again. Come on guys, stop mucking around. Oh yeah, it's so silly. We have five minutes until our show's on. That's not enough time. There's always time for a song. No, don't sing. It's fine. Time is a tool you can put on the wall or wear it on your wrist. Is this going to give me an existential crisis? I feel like it will. Time to have a bath. What do you mean? We're already clean. Scrub, scrub, scrub till the water's brown. I mean, I don't know who needs to hear this, but if you're having a bath and your water turns brown, might I suggest a visit to your doctor? Watch it go round like a merry-go-round. Going so fast like a merry-go-round. Yeah, okay. It's existential crisis time. I hate it. The time that's changing all the time, it's time to go to time. <laughs> that just reminds me of so many singers I've heard. What can I rhyme time with? I'm gonna rhyme time with time and then time with time and then time with time. Oh, genius. The apple that's fresh is right to the core. And I'm not over time and I'm not anymore. I hate that. Time flies fast when you're having fun. <laughs> There's a time and a place for mucking around. <laughs> I just feel like this clock is gonna go full dictator and I'm actually here for it, I'm ready. I'm friends with my dad. It's time for me to make an acceptance speech. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you to the producers of Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared, to every single one of my subscribers, all of you sitting at home watching this, because you know what? I couldn't have achieved this without you. I couldn't have come here today and been ready to accept my ultimate nightmare. Thank you. I'm gonna see this every day as I get up and every night before I go to sleep, just this face staring at me. I couldn't have achieved that without you, so thanks. <laughs> Old like history, stuff from the past went into a mystery. An old man died. Look, <laughs> everything's cool. It's the future. What goes around comes around, right? Hey, old man died, but don't worry, got a printer. With gadgets and gizmo and email addresses. My dad is a cunt computer. Look at the time. Bro, he f it feels like he's gonna kill me. It feels like he's staring into my soul. Oh, uh, there's fish now? Hey, there's fish on my plate. It's 20 past day, there's fish on my tray. It's 11 to 12, there's fish in the bar. It's 9.30, there's fish everywhere. Why fish? Also, this isn't scarring me as much, so that's lovely, actually. I'm even real, does anyone know? Maybe time's just a construct of human perception. You'll see what I see? Cause I see that. <laughs> Is un. Please don't do that again. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, oh, so they're gonna decompose. Uh, make it stop. <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't have laughed at that. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll be fine. But eventually, everyone runs out of time. Oh, was that their show? Was that the show that they wanted to watch? That they're like, oh, we can't miss our favorite show. The show that's gonna tell me how I'm just gonna decompose and turn into nothing. And the time is a human construct, which it is. Has nothing to do with Nazis though, just in case you weren't aware. <laughs> I'm such a ball of stress right now. I hope you all are happy because I feel like every time I do one of these videos, I'm just shaving another year off my life. Who needed that? Matthew didn't need to live. It's fine. I was gonna say it's gonna be a chill, break because we're gonna watch the little 20 second shorts that they have but i didn't read the title of this one it's just called help so that's nice i love that the video tag says the 19th of june 1955. <clears throat> if you're watching this then we need your help i i i hate this more than this feels like sinister that feels like what i'm watching if you've seen the movie sinister I, this feels like one of the modern videos oh my god <laughs> Do I have to watch the second one? <laughs> it's a lot. And it's so loud in my headphones. <laughs> I 
Oh my. Well, that was somehow less terrifying than the last one. I just needed to get the full don't hug me, I'm scared experience because I wouldn't have felt right. Well, would have felt a lot better than I do right now, but I wouldn't have felt authentic. Some people were watching this when they were like 10. Oh my God, y'all must be messed up. Oh God, looking at this right now, it says still missing last scene on June 19th. What's with June 19th? What's their obsession with June 19th? This is the last one I'm watching in this video. If you want to torture me for another one, let me know in the comments below, but let's hit play on number three and one of what is going to be numerous of my regrets in this video. I thought they were missing. They're right there. Isn't it nice to finally be outside on such a beautiful day? Okay. Yes, and I've packed us a delicious chicken picnic. But bro, aren't you a... Cannibalistic implications are not my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Went from so bright and colorful to gray and dead. He seems upset about something. <laughs> Wonder what? What's it all about? You've no idea. And everywhere you look, all you see is hatred and darkness, death and fear. Where is this going? I feel tingly. Yes, that's love, my friend. And it's time for you to. That's so creepy. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. I'm just bracing myself. I'm so tense. Everybody hates you and no one cares. But if you follow me, maybe you will see. But I mean, at least we've got like a bit of a vibe and melody going on. Soon, come and meet some of my friends. They know all about love. Come on. Bro, whether it's a butterfly or not, what is ill-advised is to not accompany someone if they come up to you and they're like, hey, you want to come with me? I'll make you feel tingly, make you feel really good. Show you all about love. Yeah, come hold my hand. Meet my friends. That's a bad idea. Say no. F***ing run. It is true. We love you. You love us too. <laughs> I love you too, furry boy. <laughs> Harder. Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe we should look for our friend. Isn't that what Why is there do? blood all over? And we have finished the chicken picnic. Don't stare at me! This is the story of Michael, the ugliest boy in Oh, uh, he's ugly now. He's <laughs> not just lonely. He ugly. He lived on his own underground. He lived on his own underground. <laughs> you see, everyone has a special I shouldn't one. be laughing. Even Michael! Your heart beats hard. But they didn't even show Michael's special one. Was the special one the rock? And now we all worship our king. Okay. okay, well that took a big turn. So they're a they're a cult. And this is your chance to start. I assumed he was a sacrifice. It's literally a cult. <laughs> Hitting all the cult points. We're sorry we upset you, but look, we've bought you the last boiled egg to cheer you up. I guess it must be because we love you. <laughs> so pointed. Father! Ah, pesky bee! Don't give me this happy ass music after that. That's not okay. Also, who was gonna tell me? Was it gonna be you? No one left us in the comments. Andrew, you didn't say that. This was, this was Tom Scar. This was Tom Scar. Why did you do this, Tom? Why have you done this to me? I feel betrayed. I've met Tom Scar. He's a very lovely guy. Next time I see him, I'm gonna have some explaining to do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wonderful time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.